climate change and arctic permafrost so before we begin with this topic a very very important and relevant topic for today uh, we need to understand what is permafrost so permafrost is nothing but a permanently frozen layer that can be seen and this frozen layer is at uh, nearly 0 degrees and has miles of thickness it is including high mountains the earth's higher latitude areas mainly the north pole and the south pole and covers a huge proportion of earth now understand that if this ice suddenly starts to thaw or melt what would be the scenario a large amount of region would be covered or uh, with water or would we would say would be flooded so how do we understand this permafrost what are the layers within the permafrost and uh, how we see the development if this permafrost starts to thaw all of the sudden now let's understand the structure of permafrost permafrost has three important uh, sections the first is the layer of active permafrost the active permafrost is the layer which is the topmost layer and it does not stay frozen throughout the year during the warm months it melts and during the winter months it is start, starts to freeze again however in extremely cold area it rarely thaws okay so it rarely melts in simple words now the layer below this is what is known as the permanent permafrost this is the layer which is a mix of soil and minerals and remains permanently frozen below the active layer and within this layer we have ice wedges that are seen so permafrost if i give you a overall uh, aspect about it it is a composition of ice with soil rock minerals and some of the dead animals and plants that are there all these are part and composition of the permafrost layer now why recently arctic permafrost has come into light and the thawing of the Arc arctic permafrost has created an important concern for humanity there are three important reasons cited for this the first is when you have sun rays falling onto the polar areas we are specifically fo focusing on arctic regions right now because we have uh, a lot of dwelling in and around those areas now when this arctic permafrost starts to thaw what would happen since it is miles of ice that is there there are numerous homes and livings dwellings that are being built on the permafrost area so what would happen if this ice suddenly starts to thaw if this ice suddenly starts to thaw many of the villages that are located in the northern boundaries would be destroyed the roads that have been constructed the infrastructure that has been laid down would be destroyed so destruction of villages would be one of the first concerns that would be there the second important concern is when the permafrost is frozen the plant material is in the soil and this is in the form of what it is in the form of organic carbon now it cannot decompose since it's cold it cannot rot away but as soon as the permafrost begins to thaw what happens the microbes start to act and they start to decompose the material once the microbes start to decompose the material this would relieve the release this carbon into the atmosphere and this would be in the form of methane and uh, carbon dioxide so those would be the gases the greenhouse gases that would be emitted into the atmosphere now since these greenhouse gases would be emitted into the atmosphere it would lead to climate change uh, the studies have cited that there is a huge amount of carbon that is seen and the studies reveal that uh, if the permafrost starts to thaw there would be around four to six years of carbon uh, that would be released into the atmosphere however what the findings were were really astonishing and these uh, amount was nearly double to triple of what was indicated by the scientists so huge amount of carbon would be emitted and even if all the fossil fuel uh, emissions are being reduced significantly uh, the permafrost thawing in itself is sufficient to cause a lot of climate change the next important concern that we have is whenever the 
permafrost thaws what would happen there would be bacteria and viruses that live in ice that live in soil which would get activated and since they are not acquainted to human civilization they could lead to severe diseases in human beings as well as animals so thawing of the permafrost would might release microbes which are more than 4000 years ago more than 4 lakh years ago so it's a range of 4000 to 4 lakh years ago and those old age microbes could create new diseases new interventions in animals and human beings so spread of disease could be another major challenge so these are some of the three major issues because of which we say arctic permafrost is really a big concern and checking Uh, the climate change urgently requires a great attention from the scientists uh, as of now we say china is one of the biggest greenhouse gas emitters but if this thawing continues at the same pace arctic permafrost would become one of the greatest greenhouse gas emitters worldwide a very very important topic in light of climate change and environment we would be covering many such important topics in your upcoming lectures have a wonderful day ahead